Hello, this is Adnan Klink, and earlier today, someone uh, sort of wanted help finding out how to disassemble this laptop for various reasons. Uh, in this case, it was cleaning out the fan. But I decided I'd just record a quick video of me disassembling this laptop for anyone who wants to maybe clean out their fan, change the processor or graphics card if that's even possible. I'm not so sure or anything else inside the laptop you'd want to change. Uh, if you guys any, if you guys have any requests like this and I can do them, uh, why not? I'll just do it. Um, this laptop's the Acer AS7741G and let's get started. Uh, first step you do, you like have to do anytime you take apart a laptop or computer is get rid of the power source. Right now my laptop is on standby and you're going to have to make sure it's completely off and basically just shut it down. Which I'm going to do right now. Okay. As it's shutting down. I, I have to say that I haven't done this in a while, and I'm going to try and figure it out as I go. But I remember the important stuff, and I'll try to make it as clear as possible. So, going along with getting rid of the power source. Here we go. Take out the battery. And we'll start. Um, first thing you should probably do is take off this back cover that just accesses the hard drive RAM. Wi-Fi chip. There are four screws here. You should probably keep specific fi uh, bleh, specific piles for each set of screws. I'm going to keep one off to the side here for just these four on the cover. That's three. And the fourth one is right here. Okay. Then you're going to take off the cover, put it off to the side. I'm going to put my screws right on it. Okay, and then what you should do is probably take out the uh, hard drive. That will need one screw just to the top right of the hard drive. Take that out and pull the hard drive out. Also, keep the screw with that. Next, I will uh, probably need to take out the DVD drive. To do that, I believe this screw right uh, next to the information for wireless LAN sticker should release the CD drive. I will unscrew that. Try to get it out, sort of. If I can. Ah. There we go. It's magnetic. Just pulled it out. Uh, once that's taken out, you can just See, slide out the CD drive, keep the screw with it, and then something else you're going to have to take out, let's see, would be the, well, that's about it for now. We can start unscrewing the back cover, starting with the bottom left right here. One, two, if this will come out, okay. The third one, the fourth one.
fifth one here. Bottom. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, there should be about ten screws. Let me get these main ones out first. Also, be sure not to shred the uh, screws, because that would be pretty bad. Make sure you have a screwdriver that fits. I won't be slipping the whole time you'd be unscrewing. Okay. Uh, the last two screws, I think, are right here and here. These both aren't actually on the outside, they're, they're beneath where your other cover used to be. So I'll take those out right now. Okay, oh, there's a lot of screws in here. Probably not the best way of doing this, but just to move on. Oh, there's another one I just didn't see. So that's that makes eleven screws total, I think. Or more. Get this one out. And that leaves a few more, actually, I think. Okay, there are actually five more beneath the battery. And they're a little smaller, so we should not to get them mixed up at all. And again, be careful of shredding. And you see I have one here that I'm partly shredded. Pretty bad thing. Okay, see if we can get this open now. Okay, once those are all unscrewed, there are a few more, and those are located under the keyboard. I guess one of the trickiest parts is getting the keyboard out safely, but there are uh, a few clips in here that you can use a flathead screwdriver to just push back carefully. There's one, two, and okay. should pretty be pretty careful doing this. Three, 
and then there are a few on the sides. Oh, these went back in. Okay. Uh, once you get the keyboard out, you have to be pretty careful because it's connected by a uh, cable that can be pretty fragile, so you have to be pretty careful. Uh, there's tape over it, which you're going to have to uh, remove. Uh, to expose the wire the connector. And there's, uh, oh, I remember, this was pretty hard to get out, but actually pretty hard to put back in. But there's this blue tab that you're going to have to pull on. But once you pull out, it should be pretty easy. Here it is. All you're pulling out is the cable itself, which in this case is pretty Thin, so you should be pretty careful. Um, and then there are screws here we have to uh, take out. From what I see, I'm counting about four or five. So I see five of them. Okay. Be pretty careful too uh, when messing around with uh, this laptop's innards. I mean, a lot is exposed, and it can be pretty dangerous to both yourself and the computer. I have three out, here's a fourth, and there's a fifth. Should take me another second. There, that is the fifth one. But we're gonna have to come back to this a little later. That is because there are a few connector cables that we have to get rid of, or not get rid of, just unplug. But we should be able to take this out, or take the back cover off. So let's do it. 